Guys, my morning video real quick here. And basically, it's all about the cues, in my opinion, for today. And basically, uh, this line right here, that re represents, in my opinion, the bull bear cross for today. And we dipped the bull there just a little bit there at the open. And now it looks like we're fading back into that zone. So just keep this on watch going forward in your trading today. Uh, if we start breaking uh, below this opening, these opening lows, we can have some substantial downside pressure to the afternoon hours. So just keep that uh, as a theory going forward here on your uh, markets. And uh, basically, I'm leaning to think we're going to doji out right, right near this line uh, for the day. We're going to put a pretty close to a doji situation uh, right on this uh, uh, line, uh, you know, going forward. Well, not necessarily a doji. Let's see here on the daily. I guess it wouldn't be a doji. Uh, it wouldn't be a doji, but... Uh, that's kind of where I'm thinking we're going to close the day, right there uh, on that uh, bull bear cross scenario. Because it looks like, you know, bottom line is if the bulls really wanted to support this market, they would be put, they would be running up here to the 200-day moving average. And they just are not doing that. Every buy is getting sold into for the bull, right into this bull bear cross. So I am still leaning more to the downside here. And... Uh, so just take that for what it is. Uh, the uh, uh, ES futures, they are uh, fading a little bit too. Uh, if you go on a daily here, so a little bit, uh, starting to show a little bit of waning here in the markets. Uh, this here is our bull bear cross. Nice responsive bid. Uh, went up to our secondary Fib fan, finding some responsive selling up here. Uh, the 2807 area, Active support. If we break below the 20, uh, this zone right here, then uh, it uh, it's hard to tell what's going to happen uh, on the bearish side for the afternoon hours. But I'm thinking that's what they're trying to do is pin price at these higher levels so far. And then finally, uh, we'll look at our Russell real quick. And uh, it's showing a lot of relative weakness. We are already rolling back over. Uh, then there's no reason to think that we're not going to get back down to the 1321 area. For today on the wrestle so weakness for that scenario as far as my trades today i started with um let's see here uh give me one second here okay as far as my trades today i started out of the gate with facebook puts i thought right here we were right into resistance just right above this 100 sma on our five minutes I thought we were going to immediately get some rejection on the open, which we didn't do. So I lost about 20 bucks on the trade. We sat here and chopped around. And instead of just getting the big, uh, uh, before, uh, you know, it held out there. And I also right there at the open, I has actually initiated NVIDIA puts. Similar situation into resistance right up here. So I started shorten it and hope for a breakdown of the 100 SMA. And it didn't happen. They're trying. They're still trying to support prices even at this point. Okay, so that was my first two trades for the day, and then I went in pretty heavily into Apple and uh, had a nice scalp for this morning. Uh, I had actually uh, uh, let's see here, one second. Okay, I had actually gotten into Apple before Mark even called it out this morning. Um, so, uh, you know, keep that in mind here. Uh, uh, let's see here, it'll be nine. Uh, da, 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 da. So I got in right here on this candle on Apple. I saw some relative strength in the middle of this candle here. We were trying to push out above these first, these other two candles above my 100 SMA. So I got in a little bit early there, uh, thinking that candle was going to break out. And I didn't have to wait very long. And we started seeing responsive buying. And it was a nice little trade. I took her up to the to the uh, midline uh, for a nice little scalp. It doesn't look like much, but I went in in size, uh, especially after Mark started uh, pointing it out in the room. So I took some pretty good size for a nice little scalp, and that made uh, well a couple weeks income for me in size for that just little bitty scalp on Apple. I uh, knocked, locked in some pretty good gains for the day. And basically, we're at this mid, uh, um, 
we can't, we're not even having enough strength to get back up to the, the to the next uh, uh, pivot point. That's the mid pivot point there. So uh, yeah, uh, very difficult to trade today uh, and to uh, lock in quite a bit of gains, in my opinion. And then my uh, let's see here, what else did I do? Okay, I got into Nvidia puts a second time. Uh, it was right about ten o'clock. Yeah, so I got in NVIDIA puts right here, wouldn't you know it, and thinking we were about to roll over to the downside, and wouldn't you know it, it goes against me. Uh, I sat on it for a little while, and it came back in, and I managed, I think it it, it got called out in the room uh, this, about the same time that I saw, and I think you guys in the room bought my puts, and I managed to uh, uh, take a small hit on that trade. Uh, I didn't only have like two contracts, so it wasn't anything major. But my point is, um, NVIDIA did go against me. Uh, I was show seeing relative weakness in the semiconductors, and I really wanted NVIDIA to the downside. But uh, obviously, that uh, trying to catch us above, trying to short above the 100 SMA today is just not working too well for a responsive uh, sell. So unfortunately, that's not working. And then BABA, I broke it even on BABA. Uh, that, was a that was my last trade for the day. And... Uh, I actually got the moves that I wanted, but the implied volatilities kept getting crushed. I just wasn't getting anywhere with my options. And uh, I actually had 10 contracts on this, and it just wasn't paying me anything. And, you know, I actually had a pretty good move here on uh, Alibaba, but, <clears throat> I, you know, by the time I was ready to execute my trades, the $100 that I was up on the trade was just taken right back out in the implied volatilities. And uh, the option action, I just I just finally gave up, checked it for a break even. Uh, that was right before the uh, big sell off here, but uh, I was actually going to the bullish side. So I'm kind of glad I really got out of that quick. So, but that's it for me today. Uh, I'm really having a lot of troubles. If I try to do anything past 1030 in the morning, the implied volatilities are just killing me on these trade, scalp trades, especially today. I've noticed that for the past week. And uh, I think I'm just better off just sticking with any trades before 10.30 and uh, completely forgetting about trading after that point during the day. So uh, that's pretty much my day. Uh, like I said, uh, it, it's, it seems to me like it's trying to fade to the downside, if anything. So going into the afternoon hour, I would be looking more to the downside if you are trading this market. Good luck, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, if you uh, like the video, if you like it, leave comments and all that stuff.